Scotland is home to many attractions with its fair share of historical figures. Ayr was home to one of the most well-known poets in history, Sir Robert Burns. Burns was born January 25th, 1759 in Alloway, Ayr, and died on the 21st of July, 1796. Burns became the national poet of Scotland, and many of his songs and poems are studied as classic literature in the modern world. Of course, Ayrshire has a lot of unique qualities. Robert Burns and what he represents is one of the larger qualities. For example, many museums, statues and restaurants are an ode to him. Therefore, this makes Ayr a suitable destination for those who wish to come and see Scotland, not only for its beautiful landscapes, but for its rich and interesting history. Ayr is home to the calm and sandy seaside well known as Ayr Beach. The beach is located on the western coastline and is ideal for warm and serene summer days or crisp autumnal walks. With a grassy area perfect for the kids and the beautiful views of Ailsa Craig and Arran from across the water, the beach is a fabulous place for all ages to enjoy. Along with the beach, Ayr Seaside is home to a range of great activities, including a putting green, an indoor and outdoor play area for kids and a cycle track. Or if you're looking for some action, why not try your hand at some crazy golf? If relaxing is more your style, the seaside offers a delightful cafe where you can enjoy a coffee or a bite to eat, all with the beautiful views of the sea right outside the window. Right next to the beach is Ayr's famous Logan, a major tourist attraction dating all the way back to the Victorian times when it was granted by the Royal Charter to the Bra in the 14th century. It was commonly used as a sports area and was even used by planes in World War I as a landing strip. The low green still holds up to its history and present day. The whole area is easily accessible and filled with endless activities. It's an excellent destination for locals and tourists alike. Ayrshire College was established in 2013 and was the creation of a marriage between multiple Ayrshire colleges, including Kilmarnock, Largs and James Watt College. The college is filled with many local and overseas students working on their higher education. The Air Campus is situated on the banks of the River Air and offers an amazing range of courses, all of which were previously offered at the previous legacy institutions. And giving older people's direct links to universities across Scotland after they leave. With UWS just around the corner, the college campus is the perfect place for students to continue their learning. The campus is made of three buildings, including the Dam Park building and the Riverside building, along with the Aeronautical Engineering Training Centre. It is easily accessible with lifts and ramps around the campus for those who need them. For many people, in order to get to Air and enjoy what it has to offer, you first have to arrive in Air Station, which opened in January of 1886. Since then, it has provided a staple mode of transport for those outside of Air to come and enjoy the town. The station has four platforms and provides direct travel to and from the surrounding towns all the way out to Glasgow. The station is also home to the historical building Air Station Hotel, it opened in 1866 and was used by many visitors to the town, including the 28th President of the United States, Woodrow Wilson. Although the hotel is no longer running, it remains a notable relic for visitors to see as they come into the station. The station provides a glazed canopy overhead, which is great for those well-known Scottish rainy days. Inside the station, you'll find an ATM and seating along with free public Wi-Fi, making waiting for your train a comfortable experience. Just right next to the station is the Air Central Shopping Centre. The centre is filled with an abundance of shops including Debenhams, Hallmark and JD Sports. It also has a few dining places such as Costa and Subway. The centre again has a seating area along with toilet facilities and provides a secure underground parking area for visitors. All of this combined makes Air Station and its surrounding area the perfect first stop for locals coming in and out or visitors looking for a day trip. Wellington Square is among many of the scenic places located in the town of Ayr. The first house in the square was built in 1803, and along with the houses that followed, it was required to be two-storey, built of stone and have a slate roof in order to keep the houses looking aesthetically pleasing and neat. The main beauty of the square is its wonderful surrounding gardens. The gardens provide a beautiful place for visitors to take a walk and get some fresh air. The gardens are always well maintained and show off all kinds of seasonal colours to guests throughout the year. Behind the square lies the South Ayrshire County building, which was constructed between 1818 and 1822. Many well-known figures visited this building since its creation, including George VI and his wife Elizabeth. 
The square and gardens make a great place for visitors to relax and take in the views along with some history, with the county building right behind them and multiple statues of famous historical figures, including a granite cenotaph memorial for those from the Ayrshire town who fought and died in the World Wars. It provides a special area for all guests to enjoy. Another location worth making a stop by is Roselle Park. The park is known for all of its greenery and walking routes not to mention it's home to many World War II memorial wood carvings which offer you some history within a beautiful location. On the ground you will also find a tea room with plenty of food available, certainly ideal for a day trip. Near the tea room you also have the art gallery available to visit. Here you will find sculptures from Henry Moore and some Tam O'Shanter paintings which can all be viewed for free. The gallery is perfect for anyone looking for some history in their visit. Plenty of grassy areas, Roselle Park is perfect for families wanting to hold picnics or play games. And if that's not to your taste, why not see some ducks and swans and take in the beautiful view available by the pond. There are plenty of forest walks to enjoy and you can bring a furry friend along as the grounds are dog friendly. The park connects onto Belle Isle Park. On your visit you'll find a golf course and it's perfect for a quick game with your family or alone. You will also find a remodeled conservatory right next to the course where the glass house is filled with lots of colourful plants to brighten your day. It is the perfect space for a quick Instagram snap too. There is also a Victorian wall garden to visit and take in the view of. Speaking of courses to enjoy in Ayr, another location to visit is Ayr Racecourse. Known for holding the Scottish Grand National, this location is perfect for anyone interested in horse racing, horses or just a good day of fun. Once a year, the Scottish Grand National takes place in these grounds. This is an extremely popular event which is aired on television. You can bet some money as little as a pound and earn some serious money back. There are plenty of bars available for adults and live entertainment to enjoy all day. The race course is perfect for any family looking to introduce your children to some animals or just for some family fun. You will get to see lots of horses in action and enjoy the thrill of the races at hand. Even when the weather is bad in air, you can still enjoy your visit there with plenty of space indoors and facilities. Air race course is a must see on your trip.